we can review November 12th to 2021 this week we have been talking about arrays and uh, we are using an array in a class to model a list but we are also practicing with inheritance and virtual functions to implement polymorphism. More specifically, we are using pure virtual functions. So we have the list abstract. We make the, fun the, uh, the functions in this class pure virtual functions. And then this class cannot be used explicitly. We have to inherit from the class, meaning we created an array list that inherits from list abstract and we implement the methods that are pure virtual in the list abstract class and that way we model a list as we've come to know them right a list is a sequence of things a sequence of numbers letters in this case we are creating an array list of elements specifically five elements and we have an index that keeps track of where we are going to add the next element and the size of the list. Okay, after we code the list, we can use it something like this. We can create an instance of a list. We can add values and then we can extract those values into a vector and loop through the vector and code and uh, we have a list okay how does this look in memory so if we assume that we create a list then the elements array in memory will be stored in five sequential four byte blocks okay so let me go back here. I am not going to review the whole code. I'm just going through the main concepts. So let's go and see the example that we worked on in class. Okay, so let me make more room. Notice we have this code, an abstract list or a list abstract class, it has at least one pure virtual function, meaning this class is abstract. We cannot create an instance of it. What does that mean? We can't come in here in main or in a test case. Let me include array access header actually it was array list right array okay you know actually sorry list abstract just thinking ahead of myself here if we try to create an instance of this class we will be greeted with an error actually not there but this one build and notice it doesn't let me create an instance because I have an abstract class if I want to create an instance, I have to create an instance of this class. This array list inherits from list abstract. Once I do this, I can create an instance of array list. Okay, notice how array list is overriding all the pure virtual functions from the list abstract class. If we don't overwrite 
all the functions, then by definition, ArrayList will also be an abstract class. And here is the class variable holding the list. It's at size 5, and the index starts at 0. We created some test cases. I am not going to review the code. I'm just going high level here. So we also created some test cases to test the functionality of the list. So we can get the current size of the list. We create an instance of the list. We get the current size. We add an element and we check to make sure that the current size is now one. We can also check for an empty list. We did that. We can test for adds or insertions into the list. In this case, we add five elements. We try to add a sixth element. It returns false because we are going one beyond the size of the list. Size will still be five. And then we create a vector 55, 3, 10, 15 with the values that we've added into the list, we retrieve the we retrieve the uh, the elements from the list in the form of a vector. We save it and we compare the vector to what's expected to make sure that our class is working as expected. And we created code for contains and for replace and for other. functions and all our test cases were passing and then one last thing I'll just glance through the code right we made sure that we wrote code for our class if you want to review the code you can watch the lecture videos from 11 9 and 11 11 I don't want to save this Okay, and this is a warm up for what's coming next, which is we will we will create a vector with dynamic memory. Instead of using a stack array, we are going to use a pointer and create dynamic memory for our class. Once we create dynamic memory, we have a lot more rules to follow. So we'll get to that starting next week. Okay, thank you.